that the Star Wars uh, war was. War Boys was a black cab driver. He was convicted of 19 serious sexual offences, including one rape, against 12 women in 2009. Uh, although uh, about 80 women had made complaints against him, he was only prosecuted for offences against 14 women, and he was acquitted of offences against two of these. And War Boys denies committing further offences other than those for which he was convicted. Even by the time of his trial, the case was deeply controversial, and the police were lately, later severely criticised for their investigation by the then Independent Police Complaints Commission. The police failures uh, and the prosecution decisions meant that, it's a, meant that it is alleged that his offending began much earlier uh, than the offences for which he was convicted, and that there were many more victims, up to 100, than those whom War Boys were convicted of offences against. War Boys was uh, given an indeterminate sentence of imprisonment for public protection, or an IPP sentence, which I think is a bit similar to your OLR sentence, but not exactly. Uh, <coughs> Uh, uh, and he had a minimum tariff of eight years, and that was equivalent to a 16-year determinant sentence. And he served his entire sentence in a capital of prison. An IPP sentence is in two parts, a tariff, or a punishment part of the sentence, which is the period set by the judge at his or her trial that a prisoner must serve before he or she can be considered by the list. Once the tariff has been served, a prisoner can only be released when the parole board considers it safe to do so. IPP sentences were introduced in 2005 and were highly controversial because of their, their indeterminate nature meant that some prisoners remained in prisons many years over the time. IPP sentences were abolished in 2012, but that wasn't done retrospectively. So prison reform groups, including the Howard Leakes uh, counterpart uh, in, in England, a campaign vigorously for the remaining IPP prisoners to be released would have their sentence converted to a fixed term. And it's worth noting that the seriousness of war boys offences was not typical of IPP prisoners as a whole, but it was by no means unique. So as I've already noted, the decision to release war boys was greeted with outrage by the media and politicians and the victims launched a successful judicial review in the High Court, and the judgment overturned both the decision and the rule that prevented the board from providing any explanation of or information about its decisions. 